We're here with the brand new Mamaki DTF printer. We are super excited to have it in house. Um, this is Andy, Andy's owner of DTF Superstore. Uh, do we need to shake the white ink before printing? Sometimes. <laughs> um, yes, it, it, it told us to this morning yeah. when we came in. It literally told us, like, it, would, we, it wouldn't let us get started. It's like you need to take out the white ink and shake it. Yeah. So. Uh, so everything in the lines is going to stay circulated, stirred up. Everything in the dampeners is stirred up. But yeah, you got you to shake your bags. It's going to tell you to do it every day or so. Yep. So will tech support be available through DTF Superstore or Mamaki? Yes, both. <laughs> um, so. we, yeah, with our same support channels. There are uh, extended hours, though, at, at Mamaki. They have a call okay. center. So if, if for some reason you're working on it and it's at a time that we're not available or we're not here, you can call Mamaki's uh, hotline and they're going to help you. Ink, ink is about double. Uh, ink is going to cost you double. But in the scheme of things, you have your ink cost, you have your powder, and you have your film. Your film is your highest cost. Uh, what we're doing is the film that is the correct size for this, we are pricing it more competitively than our other films to offset some of that. Uh, the other side of it is, though, you're not doing ink fills every morning or twice a day or whatever you're doing. So there's a lot less wasted ink in this. Yeah. Um, that's going to make up the difference. Uh, print heads, the co you know, total cost of ownership is what you got to start thinking with this. Because of that print head warranty, that's a huge. You know, almost anybody that gets a i3200 base machine is going to go through at least a couple print heads in the first year, if not more. So you got to start factoring that in is that you, you, you pay for this machine and you have no more maintenance costs for a full year. And you're going to make up a bunch of that ink cost just by not having to deal with that. Yeah. And I've even noticed just the, the waste tank for it doing its cleaning and stuff like that. It's not, it's not much. <laughs> it's, it, we, we ran it for our DTF day and last week and it's barely even an inch of ink in the waste tank. And, and I know that you generally with the i32 on machines, you got to keep a little closer eye on those uh, waste tanks. So it's definitely not wasting as much. I'm looking forward to spending a little more time with, with this. We, we've only, we only have this for a short time, but I'm really looking forward to working with CadLink and this to play with the ink levels so I can really dial that in and maybe even use a little less ink mm -hmm. to produce the same kind of quality. So that's, I'm really excited to get to play with that and see what we can do. But yeah, so ink a little more expensive overall, but when it comes to the overall cost of ownership, it's, it's not going to be a dramatically higher level, I don't think. Well, and another thing, you know, Francisco, we've talked in the past, uh, a year or two ago, you were having a lot of issues with your machine, um, with light, light cyans, light magentas, maybe a little bit of a cloudiness in them. We see it online a lot. Uh, this machine doesn't have those issues. The, the ink has a tighter quality control on it. Mamaki, you know, keeps their tolerances pretty tight. They do a lot more uh, testing, stuff like that. So you're not having some of those kind of issues that you see with the, uh, the Chinese machine. Sure. And that's the other thing I noticed when we first started printing and stuff, just the colors are just really deep. Like right. You don't have to be scared of those red solid chunks yeah. or something that we've run into. It. Browns can get you sometimes, stuff like that. You, you can print a big square of, of ink and not be worried about it. Though. Yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been great. <laughs> Francisco asked, would you be able to discuss the cost of maintenance after the one-year warranty? Oh, I'd have to get back to you on that. I haven't really looked up the cost of the print heads. They, they are at a higher markup when you get something like a head from Mamaki, so you're, you're probably talking a couple thousand bucks at least. The handful of people I've talked to that have had Mamaki machines that did other things like sublimation or UV mm -hmm. and stuff like that, they're always just impressed with the longevity of the print head of these machines. So, so obviously... Uh, We'll see how it, how it goes along, but everybody that has used Mamaki is always impressed with the reliability. And that was the other exciting thing about this was having something that uh, is more reliable and a little more stable platform for sure. How much uh, slower is the Mamaki compared to the Mongoose 2? Uh, Mongoose 2, depending on the settings, will get 60 to 80 square foot an hour. Really kind of varies in there. Uh, this thing, we've topped it out at 48 square foot an hour. so. A little bit slower, but not dramatic. No, I, I think that kind of goes back to the total cost of ownership thing. You know, if you're not spending an extra 20 minutes in the morning trying to get the thing going, you're, you're going to make it up. Um, well, and, and I think we, we've had a lot of internal discussions about who this machine's for versus who maybe the mongoose is for. And if, if you're running 
hundreds and hundreds of transfers every day and you're just churning out massive volume, um, then the Roadrunner or Mongoose might be the, might be the better solution. Um, but if you need something you walk up into and just click print and go to town, this is going to be that good solution for that. We have on our YouTube channel a video of the Mongoose speed test, the Mamaki speed test, which we printed the exact same graphics, uh, same amount of graphics. We've got that coming a little later this week, so make sure you check on the YouTube channel for that video. How big is the heat chamber inside of the dryer? Uh, it's it Green would be feet. bigger than <laughs> it's it's quite a bit longer than your oddly dryer, Hans. If you still have that one. Um, it's it's plenty for this machine. Uh, you don't have to worry about having to have it too hot to compensate for a short dryer or anything like that. It, it, it's plenty. And then Hans has another question. Speed compared to the old Oddly's. It's going to be about the same. Your, your Oddly should be about the same size or sp same speed as the Mongoose. So, you know, it's going to be, you're probably getting 60 to 80 square foot. It depends on setting. Some people change things and go faster or some people go slower this is at 48 square foot an hour so yeah and like i said we're we just got our hands on this so we just started testing it i think there's uh we we like to play around with some of the settings to see if we can get a little more speed but keep the quality or maybe adjust some things here and there so there's definitely some things to play with it does print faster when you do white only so if you're doing a bunch of white logos that does print quite a bit faster i think mamaki says it's like double the speed almost when you're doing single like just white color versus the full cmyk and white combination mm -hmm. uh the maintenance process uh it's kind of the biggest thing is just keeping your wiper blade and your capping station clean uh if you don't do it, it it'll it'll let you know every so often <laughs> i think jacob said it's it was at seven days or something it'll actually tell okay. you hey it's time to clean your wiper blade it's time to wipe down your capping station um it's going to tell you also when to shake your inks like this morning when we come in it, yeah it prompts you hey you need to shake your white inks so you pull the cartridges out shake them put them back in and then it's happy again so so in other words just do what the printer tells you to do and you're yeah, fine yeah <laughs> it'll, it'll it'll keep you in line <laughs> and, awesome all right what type of head it is an epson dx7 head so it's a single head it's got eight channels cmrk and then uh you know the four whites too so. yep Yep. Uh, it's it's a similar head that's in a lot of uh, Momaki printers and uh, some of the desktop Epsons and stuff like that have it as well. Is there any issue with excess powder falling off the sides during powder or did Momaki cover that? It's like any of the other DTF dryers. It's got a catch tray underneath. So the, the powder that does go over the sides uh, is going to go down into a catch tray. Um, as far as special features, uh, the shaker itself, it, there's nothing that's not on the market already yeah i mean not not to downplay it it's a very <laughs> nice shaker it's got a touch screen uh it's got the fume extractor but it, essentially it's it, it's an oven that's been on the market the, uh, there's a lot of places that actually pair printers with this specific dryer sure uh we just had them make us a special make size so yeah. we could utilize the 31 and a half inch film will you all be supplying mamaki approved film Mamaki is not in the film or powder business. So our film, we have tested it well with it. It works well with it, but there will not be an official Mamaki film. Dealers are gonna be left, left to get that on their own. Uh, what we carry, there's also gonna be a number of other dealers carrying it as well. Um, a lot of dealers recognize that we've been in DTF for quite a while. So they're reaching out and kind of picking our brains and, uh, you know, getting film for us so there's going to be a lot of momakis running our film we're the only ones that i know of that have the 31 and a half inch at this time um, but no there will not be a momaki specifically Specific they, yeah, yeah they're not yeah. going to come out and put the momaki badge on our film yeah. yeah we sat on a webinar the other day and they wouldn't they, everybody was asking questions about film and powder they're like oh find your own and they're talking mostly to suppliers so Next question is available now. It's actually not. It is not, but we have a boatload of them on order. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, so, you know, we fell in love with this thing. We placed an uh, extremely large PO with Mamaki, so we got some uh, preference on getting them. Uh, we're going to have some mid-June to late June. Uh, I will say that a lot of them are booking up. They're booking up pretty fast. 
Yeah. And so, that's not just to try to get you guys to buy now. It's not a sale. They, they are going fast. And we had a lot of people that want, are already in line. So Yeah. So we July, are we are doing so. pre-orders. So you can purchase it now. Uh, it's just it's not going to ship till late June, early July. Um, and folks have already placed. We did DTFD on Friday. And I know uh, at least three of the people I talked to were placing an order already. So uh, it's, it's not a rush and you'll miss out. We just, these need to be installed by our technicians. Mm -hmm. So the sooner you buy it, you, the higher on that list you're going to be and the quicker we can get out there. Because we do spend two days setting it up, getting it prepped, and helping you understand how to run it as well. So we don't want to rush that. So we're going to dedicate two days to every one of these that gets sold. So, uh, so yeah, so you can pre-order. Uh, reach out to us, and uh, we can get you set up with it. Yeah, to be safe, let's call it July because anything that yeah. comes in in June is taken. So. <laughs> sure. I'll, uh, Francisco, the front loading. The other thing nice about it is there's no mess. When you get new ink, you, you pop the bag inside of here. You, you don't, there's not spills. There's uh, not pull, pull out Pull out one of them. So, yeah, it is. I'll switch over to the other camera too. Hold on one second. So I'll show you guys what this is. So they're trying to be really eco-friendly. So what they did is they actually make these um, these little boxes that they go in. And if I can open them, because I am, I promise I know how to do it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so they send them in these little degassed aluminum bags. So basically what you do is when you buy the new ink, you're gonna get this bag with this little computer chip. And basically you just pull the old bag out, put the new bag into here, put your new chip in, and pop it in the printer, and that's how you set up a new ink cartridge. And the, the other thing nice, because this is a Mamaki solution and you know not more of an aftermarket, it has accurate accounting for how much ink you have left. So yes. you can easily tell, you don't, you don't have to wait for a beeping alarm or, or oh shoot, I ran out of cyan. And <laughs> <laughs> or, or not realizing you're almost out and then all of a sudden you're out. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's great from that standpoint. Is your ink, paper, powder, et cetera, proprietary? No, well, the inks, the inks are, you're gonna be, you're gonna be locked into Mamaki. Uh, I know we've had some people, well, I can't wait until there's a bulk system, but really part of the magic is how solid mechanically and the electronics are, but also the ink system, that's critical. You, you might as well stay with Mamaki inks. Um, especially when it's under warranty. Yeah, um, but sure. I, that's something I wouldn't mess with. Um, and, you know, to be honest, we make more money on aftermarket inks, but just <laughs> the, don't mess with the ink system on something like yeah. this. That's part of what you're buying is that reliability. Uh, the powder and the paper. I mean, you could try other sources, and you'll probably be fine. I mean, there's there's different films on the market. Some work better with. Some ink, some don't, but I'm not going to tell you that our powder and our film is, is <laughs> well, the only one that's going to work. The, 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 yeah, yeah, for sure. There's other that, others that may work, but the thing you get from us is we're not going to send out a film that we don't know is going to work well with it. Like we wouldn't, we right, wouldn't do yeah. that. We test our stuff out. We've got our shop over in a different suite where literally we'll let printers run for days just to test ink or film to see that it works well. Because at the end of the day, we want you guys as the end users to have confidence in what you're getting that it's gonna work right. Like the last thing we want is for something to come in and you be like, oh, this didn't work like I was expecting. Yeah, so. Exactly. And if you order before noon, uh, we ship out the same day. So we, we get things turned pretty fast. This is a, th a 31 and a half inch dryer, which matches up to the film. If you were to try to use the film in a narrower dryer, it wouldn't fit through it. Uh, it's not just that it would it would only cure like a band of it, it literally wouldn't fit through like our 24 inch dryers. So that's the biggest thing. You can obviously, if you have a setup where you have a 24 inch dryer, you can use a 24 inch film, you're just not optimizing the full print width that Mamaki has made for the printer. Yeah, yeah, this one's specifically made for 31 and a half inch film. So there, there's no issue of Oh, well, you can only cure so much. It, it's going to work for you. Tech for setup will be at your location. Yes, we, we only sell in the USA, but we will come out. So if you live in the, the Northeast or Florida or down the street from us here, we send out a tech. It's all bundled. We don't do any like, oh, call us for a quote or anything. The, uh, t the package at 26, 26.9 or whatever, yeah, 20... whatever it is. 
Well, that's the just that's the printer. just printer, but um, <laughs> that's all included in the price for even the printer only the the eighteen thousand for the printer only that includes us coming out. So it doesn't really matter where you live. Yeah, uh, we've taken that into account. And same with if you break down, we're we're obligated to come out and help you out. So um, you, just because you don't live next to us doesn't mean we won't get out there. Um, there's Mamaki Techs nationwide too, so we are able to tap into that as well if they could get to you quicker than we could. Sure. If you haven't already, uh, go over to our YouTube, subscribe. We were also broadcasting this on our DTF uh, group, our direct to film printing group on Facebook. Uh, I will link it in the description below after the fact, and you can go join that. That's a great resource for a lot of people to engage with each other, um, share ideas, share pain points, all those kind of things. So we appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a great week ahead of you and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.